Hey everybody, I thought I'd come to you today with um, something new that I bought and I actually saw this on Anastasia's channel. She's Anastasia here on YouTube. I'm sure you probably all, most of you know her. But anyway, so I thought, got this Martha Stewart clay. It's this her air dry clay and it's the molds and I saw these frames. They have the picture frames, the circle, and that one. So I thought I'd... Um, try this out. I've never worked with molds, molds and I have clay but I used to make like miniature food and stuff out of my own things but I never did it for scrapbooking so this is new to me. The kit is at, I got mine at Michael's and I took advantage of the 25 or the 40% off coupon and the 50% off coupon that we were able to use last week. So I was able to buy this kit for 50% off and then a separate mold for 40 percent off so if you buy the kit it comes with everything it comes with um a set of molds it comes with colored clay and a pack of the white clay which i have in a white wet paper towel it comes with these tools and there's different kits with fr diff different kits with variations of frames so you have to look at them but anyways I'll show you what I made and actually these roses are in the instruction booklet they made this with that clay and they do show you how to do that where I put my instructions I have no idea they're buried somewhere I, I put them where I would uh, have quick reference to them and I don't know where that is but anyways let me get on with this so I was playing around with it and like I said I just started playing around with it so I'm learning and trying new techniques but anyways um, <clears throat> the clay is it feels like in my it's not like any kind of Fimo or Palmer clay or anything it is soft it feels wet but it's not um, it actually feels like as light as a marshmallow I mean that's how easy it is to work with so if you're worried if you ladies out there have um, I know a lot of you have trouble with your hands and stuff then I recommend this. This is not a baked clay. It dries by air and it doesn't dry heavy. It's kind of what it reminds me of after it dries is the fun foam. Um, and you can paint it and spray it. And here's some of my molds. Uh, I love this is the main reason why I bought it was for this picture frame. And then um, it has a heart in the cabochons which make awesome flower centers. And then it has a circle frame um beautiful i don't I, I have to make another one because it didn't turn out the butterflies leaves and the fern and my favorite is this rose cameo so let me get on i'll show you an example you can mix they give you the colors because you can mix them with the white to make colors and if i had my sheet in front of me you'd see that you pretty much like if you wanted to make pink or something you need like a little circle of the color mixed with white and they actually show you how the size of the balls that you need to um do to mix it now this one i did mix and i made pink and that's a flower center and i made a pink butterfly but i I rubbed and buffed it but I'm not done coloring it so um, that's that and then they have these little foreigner, uh, foreigner corner photo corner brackets and I did spray this with Lindy's um, stains after it dried I want to try doing it wet but then here's some that I've just made I don't want to pick it up because it's wet I just did it and they're white so you can even leave them white and shabby chic them the way you want here's a frame that I colored I put uh, Lindy's sprays on. I'm not sure which color. And I did some rub and buff. And I'm going to ink it too to bring out the detail more. So I'm not done. I'm still playing around. It feels like fun foam and they are bendable after they dry. Like I said, it is. there's no weight to this at all. So it's perfect for cards. And then here's a orangish one that I used. I still need to ink up the edges and stuff and finish it. But I just wanted to show you real quick. And there's the little round frame, which looks really... I put stains and rub and buff on it. So it kind of looks like pewter. Um, <clears throat> so let me start with... I just made a frame. If you can kind of see how they look white. Let me zoom in, maybe. Watch the camera fall over again. 
and then I have that heart too. So there's the frame white, and imagine when it's done um, distressing it and making it the way you want. My desk is a mess. I'm in the middle of a bunch of projects. So here's a flower that I made using that center. Well, let me show you. I've been playing. Here's a flower center that I used the cabbage on. And I just did a lace flower. I used scintillating silver to kind of um, give it the little sparkle. And it took it inside the little crevices. So it looks real pretty. And then here's one of the cameos I made. Now that one I used pink and then I mixed the white in the center. And then I just gathered it up on some lace for an embellishment. And then I sprayed it with um, a pearl mist. Uh, perfect pearl. Perfect pearls mist. Perfect pearl is the color. So that's that. And then here's one that I sprayed with the stains. So I wanted it to have that vintagey look. And then I just gathered up some lace behind it. And I'm not done. I want to still put some tool or ribbons on it or something. But that's just... So those are the th three things that I started making with that. And so let me show you how this works. Super easy. Just roll the clay. Don't mind my cracked up hands. Um, let me get in frame. There we go. I have to do it way over here. So I'm going to do this one to show you because it's bigger. And you just put a piece of the clay inside and push it in. Now I think you can use, which I'm going to try, and I'm not coloring this. I don't, I'll make, you can try, I'm going to try to use regular clay so I can bake it and make the hard, because I would like some, um, it's really easy, but I'm, I'm not even putting any pressure. So you just put it in the mold. And it feels like it's oily, but it's not. I mean, I guess it is, but it's not. It doesn't come oily on your fingers. I can touch anything. And just kind of smooth it, because you want to push it to the edges. So pat it out. I'm blocking. Let me zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. Don't fall over camera. All right, so I'm just smoothing it lightly with my finger. And it'll go to the edges and just w keep wiping it. I just wipe it on my hand because I found that the little pieces of clay, I was trying to save them, but it, don't. Just keep smoothing it and then go around the edges. Because you want it as even as possible if you want it smooth. Sorry. Am I even in focus? There. But you can see how it's starting to form. But I'm just trying to make, kind of like, you know, when you do a pie crust. <laughs> it's harder to do this on camera because I'm trying to get an angle for you to see. My big hand wants to get in the way. And then wipe around the edges. Like, bring it out. This is not easy, guys. Bring it out to the edge and um, wipe off the excess. Now they give you tools that you can use, like to pick the stuff, but I really haven't needed to use them because, like I said, these silicone molds, it just wipes right off when you get it to the edge. There's no... And you'll know when it's even because it'll stop it'll stop going to the edges because you want to get it you know one nice layer so it lays nice and flat I'm having trouble with this one little spot here All right, just because we're on camera. Now, I get I get rid of all these little crusties, and I just smear them on my hand and scrape them in the garbage because they're really hard to work with, and I don't like putting it back on the thing. And I'm working on a piece of wax paper because I find that my desk is just dirty. Um, one thing you can do, you can use your... You can use this, your Cuddlebug spatula, and kind of flatten it. 
and then go over the edges a little more with your finger just so you're really going to get that fine detail and then you can also go over it with a stamped block and these were helpful tips from Anastasia that I and it really works and it flattens your flattens your bottom nicely okay then as all as you do let me zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see okay so there we go I think we got it nice and flat good as I'm gonna do and these bend they're rubber so they bend so your mold is gonna pop right out look at that ah shot across <laughs> hold on I don't want to bend it look at that isn't that beautiful so I will set it here with the other ones and let it air dry and they say 24 hours you know till it's really pliable but I think mine were done in like an hour or two but I also have the fan sitting on them so that is that let me um, let's see I did the heart and the frame and you can rub and buff them you can paint them glitter them anything you want and like I said you can also buy this clay separately so if you want to buy it for your other molds it's like $7.99 for this big pack and a little goes a very long way and um, you can probably put it in other molds that you have too but I, I do this is fun to work with especially if you're doing cards and layouts because there's no weight to this at all and like I said it's pliable here's the little cabochons See, they t it's like fun foam. It turns into fun foam, basically. All right, my battery's going to die. I hope you like that. Um, check it out and um, leave any comments if you have any questions. And have a good day. Bye.